friends welcome to my channel go digit today uh, in this video we will learn about service management module uh, in the business central so uh, as this will be the first video for this module so uh, it will be very uh, short and video where we will just understand brief about what exactly the service management module is and how to activate this module uh, in the business central so first of all uh, just to give you the brief that uh, basically uh, service management module uh, if you want to understand in basic terms it is nothing but uh, like uh, the to attract and uh, and to retain the customers that uh, for the companies who actually involved in producing the item who are generally manufacture the products or who believes in distribution of the product right they often expand their portfolio by by uh, giving the customers uh, service uh, services as well on the products right so uh, like uh, basically uh, when you offer the services on the products which you are selling to the customer it really uh, boost the confidence of the customer on your product on the company itself and then it really helps the company in the future growth as well so in the business central uh, service management module uh, is also a very integral part is a powerful tool available which uh, helps the customers which help the companies to manage their service related activities efficiently and effectively right so without further ado uh, let me uh, give you a short an idea like basically if you really want to use the service management module in the business central how you can activate that so you can see here that currently uh, this is the business central which i which is running okay and this is the sales uh, module uh, like this is a sales uh, user interface or role center currently uh, showing up okay so if i click here and i will click here explore more roles so you will see that uh, different types of modules are currently showing up like company hub finance hr purchasing manufacturing service so here it is the service okay so let's see uh, what exactly the service uh, module uh, currently business central is offering so if i click on explore so you can see here that only uh, one two three three uh, documents are currently or three links are showing up right so which is not uh, definitely a complete service module right which does not cater all the portions what exactly the service management module has to so this is because that uh, if i go to the company information Uh, company information so you come down here and you will see the user experience tab so in this user experience tab currently essential is showing up and if I click here then we have two options essential and premium okay so it's an experience tier uh, but uh, it is directly related to the license which you have purchased uh, for the business center so business center generally comes up with the two license one is the essential and second one is premium so essential is the license which offers you all the modules uh, like finance or sales module purchase module right uh, but it does not offer two uh, modules which is the manufacturing module and second one is the service module so right now uh, because it is set as essential so that is why it is not uh, showing me up but uh, definitely if you really want to use the manufacturing uh, 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 module or the service module then first of all you need to buy the premium license and then in the company information tab you had to set this uh, experience tier to premium so as soon as you set this up and go back you will see that uh, now uh, web browser automatically gets refreshed which means that now it will apply the service management module and the manufacturing module as well into my 
uh, user experience tab okay so now if I again click on this and if I click on explore more roles and here service if I click on explore now so now you will see so many options are coming up right which is one of the contract section setup section planning and dispatching section and order processing section so and each section have multiple links or uh, features are showing up right so basically uh, the thing is service management module in the business central offers us majorly all the all the unique features which uh, you demand against your uh, service business right so for example it has the contract section which uh, gives you all the features about that if you really uh, work uh, on the contractual uh, service uh, basis right you just uh, don't uh, directly own the customers or you don't directly sell the customer anything but you are providing the service on the contractual basis right so you can see the service contract service contract quotation as well services and voice as well available then this is the setup module like basic uh, setups which we need to configure before we start using the service management module then this planning and dispatching section is available like for example as soon as you get an order of the services for any product which you sold to the customer before or uh, from the contractual purposes like how you plan the to, to execute that uh, servicing of the product from the resource perspective and from the time perspective right so that uh, basically you can plan from here all your backlog of work and then this order processing section where you have the service uh, all the options available from the quotation from the order invoices and credit memo and all those stuff right so it is a complete module in itself which is uh, which is having or which which consists of almost all the features which you intend for in the service management right so this is one of the thing now basically uh, now we have activated uh, this uh, thing so obviously if you really want to deal in the service management and you want to go ahead with those processes this user interface which we are currently seeing up is not looking nicer right uh, nothing no option of services is currently showing up in my dashboard it's like a dashboard so obviously we need to uh, change that as well and business central out of the box gives you this uh, user interface or this dashboard from where you can directly handle all your service related activities so what i did is i just click on the settings icon and uh, open this page called my settings here in this uh, first field called role you will see this option called showing up sales order processor which is uh, rightly uh, available for the sales people if you belong to the sales department whose uh, daily activities is related to the sales so this user interface or this dashboard really will be helpful but if you are dealing with the services then of course this is not good but out of the box this service manager role center is showing up or dashboard is available I can select this up click on ok and now it will get refresh and then you will see a very uh, like beneficial dashboard for you which uh, from where uh, from the home screen of the business center itself you will be able to see almost everything and directly use it from here so for example uh, in the top portion we have service management uh, option showing up from where I can directly create contract uh, quotations and contract uh, itself then service quotation then service order service invoices credit memos everything is showing up here then we have the uh, link available for the posted documents right then the masters like customer service items items journals and then directly I can uh, click here and create the documents for contract and quotes then it is giving me uh, a brief information about uh, like the, from the number perspective that how many services orders raised today or how many service orders are in process currently right how many service orders are finished already 
and if there is any service order which is inactive and nothing is going up uh, from the work perspective then if there is any quotation if customer is asking you any quotation before giving you the order then if you have any running quotation available and then or if you are working uh, not uh, on the orders or the quotation but you uh, you deal in the contractual basis then also if you have anything or not like for example currently showing up one here I can click on this I can it will directly open the service order page for me and you can see here the status is pending this is the first service order which I am having at the moment right so you can see here that how good this dashboard is uh, which is directly giving you a uh, uh, in-hand experience that you can directly not only see the summary of your businesses like what exactly going on uh, from the wholesome perspective like whosoever is the service manager who, who wants to see that how many uh, if you if you own multiple users in your uh, service department then you can see the complete summary that how many uh, service orders were raised today and uh, what exactly your services people uh, are actually working on those orders or not and you can directly create everything from here so this is something which uh, if you really want to start with these two three steps you need to do in order to effectively use the services management uh, functions in the business center right so that said in the today's video or uh, in the next part we will uh, start learning about further in the service management from uh, it services item perspective right so I hope you uh, you like this video if you like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video